question 18. So let's just think about what we're actually told. So we're told, first of all, that OA is 6A, and we're told that OB is 6B. So we've got quite a bit of information there. And now we've got ON is something times B. So that's the question, isn't it? Trying to work out that. Now, it does tell me that MNC is a straight line. So we need to work out these things. We need to work out MN as a vector. We need to work out MC as a vector. Now, let's just do what we can do for a moment. Okay, so let's think about MC to begin with. So MC, now we're told that M is the midpoint. So therefore, that's going to be 3A. So that's this part just here. Now we need to add vector AB, but we actually need to add it twice as well. So let's think about vector AB. So vector AB is going to be minus 6a plus 6b. So that's minus 12a plus 12b. So mc is equal to, so it's going to be, don't forget that 3a up there, and add what we've just done just here. So that's going to be minus 9a plus 12b. Okay, so right, so we've got that bit. That's good. Right, now let's go and have a little think about mn. I'm trying to figure out how we get from m to n. So mn is going to equal, it's going to equal minus. 3a. I'm actually going, let's do it in a colour for you so you can see that bit. I'm going that way and then we're going to come down that way and then plus some b, plus something b. Now we know, remember, that mc is equal to minus 9a plus 12b. Well, we know they're on a straight line. So therefore, this second one, if you think about the scalar, the second one can be written like this. Minus 3a plus 4b multiplied by 3. That bit, that bit. Look at that part must be that bit. So k equals 4. The crucial bit is understanding about vectors on a straight line. You know that these two, mc, just must be an extension of mn.